Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? I am dying to know. Some things. Yeah. Not the things you're talking about because you already know them. Yeah, I do. But Trish is dying to know. I am. Mm-hmm. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. What are we talking about today? Um, this one... Yeah. It's a question from Gaggy. Yeah, I forgot already. I haven't because I just said it. It's, it's a question from Gaggy. Hi, Gaggy. How are you? Hi. Great supporter of our channel. Thank yes. you for that. Um, and Gaggy wants to know what happens when a person is repatriated to another country. Yes. So I guess what the process is. Um, yeah, what happens, what we, what goes what to, you do. to get the body yeah. safe from Thailand to Ireland, uh, where Gaggy is, or to the UK. From Italy to Australia. Yeah, and all of that kind. Or from Mexico to India. Or, or from, from Australia to Ireland. Or from... <laughs> Anyway, see what I'm doing. Anyway, doing. Yep. yeah. So what happens? Repatriate. Okay. So basically, it, it has to happen. Um, I, I would say in every country, just about because the laws are known here in Australia, in the UK, and Ireland that all the bodies have to be embalmed to get on a flight. Right. You know. So basically, embalming has to happen in the country of origin of death. So the person's passed away in Thailand, that person will have to be embalmed before then allowed to be flown to whatever country. So I'll do an example from Thailand to Australia because, mm-hmm. you know, I assume it's the same to Ireland as well, Gaggy, as well as the, uh, part of all of the UK, um, is the body has to be embalmed and that's to hold the body, stop the decomposition in its tracks for enough time to travel. Because some of these flights take a long time. 24 hours. That's right. A stopover or more. That's right. So uh, after the embalming's happened, they usually put in a hermetically sealed bag, which is a bag which they seal up uh, in in a coffin. So hang on, hermetically sealed means? Uh, sorry, it's sucking all the air out. So the air's been sucked out. It's tightly closed so no bacteria or anything can get in there or anything. So the body's supposedly all sealed up that's what should happen (laughs) doesn't always doesn't always not from some of these countries some of these poor countries so that's the process and in a coffin and they're in a coffin they're either in a sometimes i've had deceased in the very lovely ornate coffins or just in a a, a heavy wooden boxes that are sealed and Ah. screwed down Ah. so they're all sealed and screwed down so that's what has to happen when we get the deceased in. Now we'll get them in and it's happened many times and I'll open the coffin up and open the bag up and there's a horrendous smell and the body's not embalmed correctly and the body's started decomposing patches or you can say that the body's been embalmed but hasn't reached, the embalmer hasn't thoroughly embalmed because the arm hasn't got any fluid, it's just going green and black and smells or, you know, you can just tell sometimes it's not been correctly done but the correct procedure is fully embalmed sealed in a bag, sealed in a coffin, and then travel to your country. Okay, so the coffin goes in the cargo hold of the plane? Yeah, goes in, in the cargo hold. And we've heard stories, there's been stories about, you know, coffins flying across the cargo hold and stuff like that. Do you know anything about any of that? I don't know stories about no, that, okay. no, but they All should right. be locked down. They should yeah, be strapped in or something. S- yeah, sealed and well, not moving about. If anybody's about, from yeah. the industry, the flight industry, and you can yeah. let us know what happens at your end of things when you load a coffin onto yeah. a cargo hold of a plane, let us know because that's yeah. an interesting side of it. It is. And the two funeral companies are usually in touch with each other. So whoever's doing the embalming, say in Thailand, will be in touch with us in Brisbane. So there'll be communication between the funeral directors in the funeral home in Thailand and our funeral home. So we have to have paperwork that has to uh, be governed from our country and their country. And that has to be um, paperwork that has to be placed on the car, the because once the coffin goes in, they sometimes put them in a box as well, a cardboard box around the coffin, and that'll have all the paperwork sealed and taped on the outside, which has to travel with the deceased. And then we'll uh, email the paperwork between the companies, and the uh, airline has to have their part of the death certificate and, you know, or coroner's paperwork, whatever it is, and everything has to be all... It all has to match up with the, um, both the countries and how their laws work and what extras needs to do in Thailand and what we need to do in here to marry it together to transfer. But 
We had the story, and it's one of my favourite videos we did because it's just a quirky story, I think. Yeah. And I'll point to it here, and the video is called Brain Went on a Plane. That's right. And we talked in that about putting, like, all of that. It was embalmed mm. and it was hemetically sealed yeah. and it was in a, in a, in a receptacle. It was. And, yeah. and then it was going to be put in a hat box. It was going to be put in the hat box. And carried on as, lug- as carry-on. Carry-on luggage. Yeah, and yes. no one knew what was in there yes, when that right. person got on the plane to carry it yeah. on. But watch that video because we talk about that in that. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, that could be happening on your next flight and you wouldn't know. Yeah, a hat box with a brain in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But they had all the correct paperwork. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all, all very, legit. It's all legal. It's yeah, all, it's all legal. It's interesting. Yeah, but it is, it is, it is yeah. interesting. So, yeah. So that's what should be happening between countries uh, when uh, the deceased is being transferred over back to the country they're from. And yeah. also sometimes they're exhumed. To be transferred. Yeah, so yeah. how do you embalm an ex- exhumed body? Um, I have never done it. Never done that, actually. Right. Um, I, I've never known a one being exhumed and being um, repatriated. So Okay. But I, I just know, know that you've said before, sometimes people bury someone where they're living in the area and then they move and they want to take their yeah, person with them. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's happened in here in Australia where it's dr- driven to yeah. wherever, even any part or of the areas in in australia so i've never actually i don't know the answer actually sorry okay. i don't know that one okay. but uh, of course if the cremated mm. is a total different ball game again there's some countries are not allowed to take oh really cremated remains on the flight i think it has to go into cargo okay but it has to be sealed and you can't unseal it because when we get cremated it comes in a, a box that's sealed right so that box has to be stay sealed until you get to your destination. You right. can't open it, say, here, open the ashes, put it into a different uh, yeah. urn and then take it. You can't do that till you get to your destination. I think the idea is if it's unsealed, it could be tampered and stuff could be put in. Okay. Like you could, drugs or something. Drugs and yeah. stuff like okay. that. Right. So uh, you have to have that, um, the ashes sealed. Okay. And uh, kept so it's slightly different with your ashes. So, but it's a lot yeah. cheaper to transport ashes Absolutely. than it is a body. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't have to then have your cost of the freight and the, all of that because it's very expensive to transport a body. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, I hope that answers Thank you question. for that. You're welcome. Your job is so fascinating. Yeah, it's full of all kinds of different things. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank I guess you. that's it. I think that's it. Till next yeah. time. See ya. Take care. Take care. See ya. Bye bye. Seal. Hit. Action.